This morning we have chefs William Griffour and Matthew Montman from Alpen Rose Restaurant. So Alpen Rose Restaurant is a landmark property in downtown Holland. It's been serving the Holland and surrounding areas for over 20 years. Their goal is to offer a fresh yet classic approach to European dining with award-winning services and pastries that you won't find anywhere else. Alpen Rose Restaurant, those beautiful handcrafted woodwork, imported from Europe throughout the restaurant with inviting and comfortable dining areas. They offer off-site catering and a number of private dining rooms also, perfect for hosting everything from business meetings to wedding receptions. So, chefs William Griffour and Matthew Mottman this morning will demonstrate a variety of breading and dip recipes that are easy to prepare and perfect for all of your market finds, including fresh veggies and lean meats. So I'm going to pass it over to you guys. Take it away. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Chef William Griffer. This is Matthew Mottman. This is McKaylee. Um, we're going to start off. First thing we're going to do today is uh, chicken parmesan. Um, all these um, dishes we'll be doing today, we serve at Elf and Rose. So you can enjoy them, not just here, but when you go to Elf and Rose. Um, we'll be doing a cracker crusted walleye. Uh, Wiener schnitzel, a Jaeger schnitzel, and some almond crusted scallops also. And uh, we'll start off with the first dish with the uh, uh, chicken breast. We're going to dip it in some seasoned flour, um, egg wash, and then we're going to do our Parmesan crust. Um, our Parmesan crust is made out of uh, Japanese panko chips, fresh basil, Parmesan cheese, um, little chef salt. Um, what Matt's going to do is uh, get a nice light brown crust on it. Um, this is what we uh, call the standard breading procedure. Normally it's flour with egg wash and uh, whatever kind of breading you would like. So. Start with a hot pan. Make sure the pan's really hot so it doesn't stick on you. You can do butter or you can do oil, wherever you prefer. Yeah. We normally do uh, butter at the restaurant. Then. All right. We had also got some potatoes and some vegetables that we're just gonna put on the plate just for a presentation. We won't be cooking none of those. Was right in the pan. Let it sit for a minute. You'll see the uh, edges getting a little brown. And then once you start seeing that, you probably go ahead and flip it, so. If there's any questions anybody has at any time, you can just feel free to ask. Um, we also have uh, some, at the end of the, the presentation, we have some buy one, get one. Thanks for helping Rose today. Normally this dish at Open Rose is uh, served with uh, angel hair pasta with a little marinara and uh, our veg dessert of the day. So that varies. It's getting there. there you As you can see, it's getting a little brown on the edges there. Now it's ready to be flipped. Normally after we flip it like that, we'll put it in one of our uh, ovens at the uh, restaurant to finish it off. Because you can't really finish in the pan, it'll burn on you. So we have our ovens normally at about um, 350 to 400. So if you have your oven at home about that temperature, it'll work good for you. For how long? Our chef salt also has, what is it, uh, celery salt, white pepper, uh, granulated garlic, granulated garlic, and uh, kosher salt. But you see, it's nice and easy. 
Light brown. Go ahead and pass it around and see. Show And you would uh, probably cook the chicken at 350 about probably eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Until it's at 165. Poultry needs to be cooked up to uh, 165 for you. Okay, the next dish what we're going to do is a cracker crusted walleye. We sell a lot of these at the restaurant. Yeah, that's a really good dish. We're going to start off with a um, walleye filet seasoned with uh, chef salt, but then we put um, instead of the 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 egg wash, we will use Caesar dressing to to bind the uh, cracker, crumbs to, cracker crumbs to it. So we'll still do the same procedure with the seasoned flour, but instead of the egg wash, Matt will put a uh, Caesar dressing on it. As long as you got something wet where you can coat the uh, bread in, you should be okay. You can use pretty much anything you want. Nice coat on there, and then we go right into the flour. And into the Ritz cracker crumb. Nope, just straight Ritz crackers. We uh, chop them up. With the same idea with a nice hot pan, some oil, we're going to brown it just golden brown. It'll take literally five to six minutes for the walleye to cook, so it's a real, real easy dish and quick. Again, you can use butter or oil, whatever you prefer. We prefer butter at the restaurant for all our uh, breading stuff. So. The trick is to have a hot, nice hot pan so it, it won't stick. If you start with a cold pan, it'll, it more likely will stick on you. Swish the butter around a little bit, get a nice coat on there. I just wondered why you used the Ritz for this and the panko for the other. Just flavor-wise. Yeah. Yep, 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 different flavors, yep. You can see it's getting nice and brown around the edges here. About ready to be flipped. Maybe. And when you when you flip a fish, you want to start off at the tail and work from the tail to the to the main part of the fish. It's almost there. At the restaurant, it's served with our um, whipped potatoes and uh, veg of the day. Yep, I was a little too soon on that, as you can see, I got stuck to the bottom a little bit. It's a really delicate fish, cooks real quick. Can you tell them where you got the produce from? Yep, all of our produce today was from, donated from Visser Farms. All the, everything you see displayed. Wish we could eat it, it's so good. <laughs> there you go, Haley. There you go. How long would you put that in the oven? Uh, that, um, most of the time you can basically finish it in the pan if you have a, like a nice low heat and just continue yeah. to cook it. Just, you gotta keep it on it so you don't burn it. But if you're gonna throw it in the oven at, at that point, maybe three, four minutes at like 400 degrees or so. What kind of fish is that again? Walleye. Yeah. yeah, so when you first brown it on the first side, you'll flip it and then you could adjust your heat a little bit and turn it down and then you could finish it right there in the pan. Okay, that's the walleye. The next, the next thing we're gonna do is a Venus schnitzel. Um, we have a joke at work. We sell a lot of uh, Venus schnitzels and Jaeger schnitzels. We call them brothers. 
So when they pop on the screen, it's the schnitzels. So we sell, I don't know how many a day of this. It, comes, it goes with our red cabbage and spatzo, house spatzo. It's like little dumplings. Um, we're going to do the vena first. It's um, a pork cutlet. And then uh, we just cut it, season, season flour. Then we'll do an egg wash and then some uh, Japanese panko. It's like a breadcrumbs. Might want to consider or tell them what uh, jacquard means. Um, jacquard, we'll take a, from the pork loin, probably count a three ounce piece. And then we'll run it through a jacquard machine. We'll, we'll put holes in it so it would be more, uh, more tender when you cook it. We're doing the wiener, right? Yep. All right. Yep, the uh, wiener schnitzel would be breaded pork dipped in egg wash and then the breadcrumbs. And the Jaeger schnitzel is just going to be dipped or, or seasoned flour and then pan fried in, in butter. The Jaeger schnitzel gets a mushroom bacon uh, demi, a sauce on it. And the Venus Sister will get a, a lemon wheel with a, a little anchovy caper garnish. So this dish will cook literally like maybe six minutes from beginning to end. Um, start off with a, a hot pan. Same basic procedures as far as seeing it starting to uh, brown around the edges. Um, yeah, a little bit of uh, lemon butter on, on it and very good, very good dish. I guess the red cabbage and the spatula that gets served with it, the red cabbage is unique. If, if, you, if anybody's had it there, it's really good. The Venus schnitzel, you'll get two pork cutlets and then um, the spatula, red cabbage, and the lemon wheel on top. Probably one of one of our best best sellers as far as the German dishes. Uh, Jaeger. Jaeger. <laughs> That's the Wiener Schnitzel. No, no, that'll be right, right on the. Cause the, when you jacquard the pork, it uh, it'll it'll cook quicker too. So that after you get that first and this will brown on one side, probably th three to four minutes on the other side it'll it'll and finish. With this cut of pork too, it's okay if there's a, just a little pink in there. It's it's fine. It's a nice cut of pork. So. Okay. okay. Chef Mamman's gonna do the Jaeger schnitzel, which is uh, pork cutlet, seasoned flour, and then from there we're just gonna go straight to the saute pan and get a nice brown on it. Oh, to cook it whole? Um, it, it varies, um, it's all depending on the cut of pork. You can actually have like a pork tenderloin, you can, uh, you can serve it like medium rare to, you know, medium. But you know, certain porks you want to go about mm, 150 to 155 internal temperature. The burners at work are a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not as much wind there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
about ready. We'll throw her in there. I guess I could have waited, but it'll be alright. Yeah, our last dish that we were going to do tonight is one of my favorites, too, is uh, after the Jaeger here is going to be the Almond Scout. Well, I got the pretzel chicken first. Oh, after this? <laughs> we do offer a lot of gluten-free options on our menu, if, if anybody's interested in the gluten-free. This is definitely all the stuff you can do at home. It's pretty pretty easy, so. This is better than melt the butter before you're The butter that we're using, it's a, it's a liquid butter. You can pick it up at the store, but if you're gonna use like stick butter or you know tub butter, yeah, definitely let it melt. And you'll see a little smoke come out of the pan a little bit, then you're then you should be ready. But you gotta be careful because that butter will burn real quick. Right, yep, yep. Well, we use uh, the liquid butter at the restaurant. It's a lot easier. You don't have to wait for the butter to melt in the pan. You just dump it in, and you're set and ready to go. The liquid butter, no, actually, it doesn't. <coughs> um, it's pasteurized, I know that for sure. and. Uh, not sure exactly why it doesn't need to be refrigerated, but I know it does. So. Where can you find it? Um, you probably go get it at your uh, local grocery store. Oh. Uh, yeah. Gordon's. Yeah, Gordon Foods. That's where Gordon's we uh, Foods. get our. Uh, it's called savory, savory butter. I believe it's a soy based, too. So. <clears throat> The Jaeger schnitzel at the Elpen Rose will have uh, like a, a mushroom, uh, bacon mushroom demi on it. We don't have that here today. We're a limited on our. But it also gets the spetzel and red cabbage. Uh, we have a few dishes at the restaurant that we use pretzel crumbs, uh, walleye, we use walleye sometimes. Yeah, walleye, white fish, you can use it on pretty much any kind of, you know, you know, meat you would like, pork, anything. Just your regular standard breading, get a nice coat of flour on there, dip it in your egg. Normally I pull it up to make sure that you know it's all coated. As you can see, there's a little flour that's not quite coated. You want to get all that coated up. What is that for dipping? It's just a regular egg wash with a little. What's the meat? Oh, it's chicken yeah, it's a chicken breast. Yeah, oh. sorry. Uh, just uh, whole eggs with a little uh, little seasoning, a little salt and pepper. And that's just regular pretzels, smashed to little bits. But most of the dishes here that, that we brought were just to show it's real simple. Season, you know, a little salt, a little pepper, make sure you season everything. Um, like the chicken breast would probably be the, the longest thing to cook. You know, other than that, the fish and everything, you, you know, within 10 minutes you could be sitting down, after, you know, to eat, so. We get our fish from um, Superior. Superior. Now there's certain like uh, 
writings that you don't have to add extra, you know, salt and pepper to. Because the uh, pretzel crumb that we use, it, the pretzels were already salted. So you gotta be careful with the, uh, the kind of brain you use and make sure it doesn't have extra salt before you salt and you know, pepper the meat. Right. The walleye with the Caesar dressing, the Caesar would be salty, so you wanna be careful on something like that. But this pretzel crusted, really nice crust on it. We usually put like a Dijon cream sauce over it to something to dip it into. Questions out there? No, not yet. Well, um, there's several ways you can do it. Um, you can put we, it we, we have a, a food blender at the restaurant we chop it up in, or you can put it into like, a, depending on how much you're making, you can put it like into a sandwich bag and take you like a meat tenderizer, and just smash it up. Yep. Or yeah, a cup, or whatever. The Ziploc bag is a good idea though. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Basically, what you want to do is just uh, take, like you said, four cups of flour, okay. and then um, all depending on how how much seasoning you want in it, you know, a couple tablespoons, and then you can taste it and see if it's okay. This dish right here is uh, on our on our banquet menu as well. So if you guys want to have a party over at Elf and Rose, this is one of them. Leave your pan on the burner so it burns. <laughs> yes, sir. Does the uh, pretzel crust lend itself to certain meats better than others? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't do like a beef tenderloin and pretzel crust by no means. You know, fish and uh, poultry without a doubt for sure. Yeah. Whitefish. Whitefish. The next dish we're going to do is a uh, Parmesan crusted whitefish, also on our main menu in the restaurant. Basically, it's the same same procedure as the uh, the chicken was. Seasoned flour, egg wash, and we're going to use the the. Now we uh, go ahead. Sorry. The chicken Parmesan crust. We normally keep the skin on the white fish because uh, when we flip it in the pan, the skin will get nice and crispy and you can actually eat the skin. So. This dish at the restaurant is served with roasted potatoes and uh, veg of the day. Hey, which we have, look at that. Yeah. I wish we could share some and of this And you can see food. a little, little smoke coming out of the top right there. When you see that, it's, it's normally ready to be, uh, have the meat thrown in the pan. And you want to hear that sizzle for sure. I think we might be eating when we're just done. <laughs> It'll be about lunchtime, won't it? Pretty close. Yeah, the uh, walleye and the uh, whitefish at the restaurants definitely uh, a couple of our top sellers. So if you ever get a chance, you got to go in and try it. Now, when I flip it in the pan like that, what I try to do is keep the butter to one side and flip it where the butter's not, so you don't get the uh, butter just splashing up on your arm. That would not feel good. And I've done it more than once. <laughs> the whitefish, too, will actually cook after you make this first initial brown. You'll turn the heat down and then cook it probably three to four minutes and done. Real quick and simple. 
little bit of salt and pepper and lemon, it's good to go. As you can see the, uh, the skin on there, it's getting nice and crispy. Like I said, you can definitely eat it. You know, coming in, you know, like twice a week. The, the whitefish will be from uh, the lake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whitefish and the walleye are from uh, um, the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes, yeah. Yep. And we also have uh, perch at the restaurant that's from the Great Lakes. So, um, yeah, we try to, uh, you know, stay local as much as we possibly can, you know, with, uh, you know, our produce and, you know, seafood and our meats and everything. So, but, yeah, your best bet to, uh, you know, get fish like from you know Norwegian salmon or you know whatever would go to uh, like a, uh, a fish shop like uh, Lambert's Lambert's yeah well, they close they, they close, they close? Yeah. I didn't know that really how long ago three weeks yeah, yeah, about a month ago wow huh we're out of the loop alright the last dish your favorite dish alright our last dish is going to be the almond scallop the reason why I like this is because at the end of the night yeah you want to go we get a lot of these, and uh, usually Matt has to cook them. So it's a little game that we play. It's like, it's always an almond scallop at the night, end of the night. It's but a yeah. great dish, but it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Instead of seasoned flour, he uses cornstarch. Yeah, this, uh, this is one of the dishes on the menu at Elfin that is, that is gluten-free. Seems we don't use the flour, we use cornstarch instead. So. Um, well, the walleye, we, we debone it. There's a, little, there's a little spot that we cut out, little pin bones that we get out. But the, if you want to actually go around and show them the walleye and show them where the pin bones are at. But yeah, the whitefish, um, they'll have like, little bitty, bitty bones, but you won't be able to tell. Right, right in here, there'll be a, a V. I'll cut a V, and there's maybe about a two-inch two piece where you'll cut out of here that will have some bones in it. Right about in this area right here. You can feel them when you run your finger down them. Now these are our dry jumbo sea scallops. Um, we normally do four per order at the restaurant. I was doing five. I guess I was misinformed. So. Oh, that's right. We did switch to five. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think we went back to four. I think it goes by the size and the weight. Yeah, these, uh, these ones are U10s. Um, that means that there's roughly about 10 individual scallops in a pound. So, anyways, you throw it in the uh, cornstarch. And we got the egg wash. And then the almonds. This dish is served with a Parmesan risotto and a veg of the day. Um, also has, what is it, the balsamic? Yeah, blueberry uh, blueberry balsamic drizzle from uh, Pustini's right down the road. What we do is just uh, take an individual bottle of uh, blueberry balsamic, put a little honey in it, um, put it on the stove, and just let it reduce down until you get to the right consistency on it. So. Put a, we'll use it like paint. We'll put it on the plate. So you, the scallops will touch it, and you'll get a little bit of the blueberry, a little bit of the blueberry flavor on there. So we could have it uh, gluten-free on the menu, so we can accommodate, you know, the gluten-free people out there. You, you can do it in flour; that's not a problem. 
which is a new thing. I mean, so many people order gluten free. It is. That's why we have a special spot on our menu for it. We do have a lot of dishes there that are gluten free too. Now with these, you're gonna, you've got to make sure you have a really hot pan. And the scallops are coated really well. Hopefully I won't mess it up. Well, we got McKaylee here if you do. That's right, we do. She'll be able to. Okay. <laughs> these will also brown quickly. So you're gonna wanna watch them closely. This one you want a really, really hot pan. Sometimes I get it too hot. I've burned my fair share of scallops. <coughs> you want to make sure you go right into the butter. If you need more, just add more. We normally toss these in the oven at a 400 degree oven for about uh, seven to eight minutes. We like to cook them around medium well. We don't want to cook them well done, they'll get really rubbery. This is a real popular dish. It's really pretty on the plate, a lot of colors, and the almonds and the scallops are just amazing. Yep, the Parmesan risotto and the, the reduction, blueberry balsamic reduction. Yep, we normally put the, uh, the risotto, risotto down on the plate and then put the scallops on top of that. This is a very delicate dish. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, um, you'll be able to tell, you know, on the bottom when you know it starts browning or up on the side, but you got to be careful too because she'll show you I burnt one. <laughs> well, yeah, this is uh, seven of our dishes. Um, feel free to come down to Alpen Rose and try them anytime. I want to thank everybody for coming, I appreciate it. Is Don't forget your, uh, you got coupons up here if you uh, help yourself for them. So. You guys have a great afternoon.